This is Hank here for Free Podcast Tools, and I recorded a consistent noise. It's a fan, it's a box fan, in with my voice, and then I ran it in three different plugins. One of them's just stock Audacity noise removal, but also Clarity VX from Waves and AccuSonus's version 6 noise removal. So here, let me quickly just play the initial one there. It's just 30 seconds. I left about a five second gap so these programs could have a good source of the noise, the consistent noise going. So I'll play it as is and then we'll go through each of the other three. Hank here for Free Podcast Tools. And I have a box fan running in the background on medium as close as I can get it to the desk area so that I can use it as a base file for noise removal programs such as Clarity VX by Waves, AccuSonus' noise removal plugin, and that's version 6, and Audacity's stock noise removal plugin. All right, so that is the baseline. Let's go to see what Audacity did. I ran the capture noise print against the entire file, and here's what it sounds like. Hank here for Free Podcast Tools, and I have a box fan running in the background on medium as close as I can get it to the desk area so that I can use it as a base file for noise removal programs such as Clarity VX by Waves, AccuSonus's noise removal plugin, and that's version 6, and Audacity's stock noise removal plugin. As you hear, it got rid of the sound, but it sounds like it's underwater in some instances, really muffled. So let's see if AccuSonus did any better. Every plugin was just on the base stock setting, the default setting. Hank here for Free Podcast Tools. And I have a box fan running in the background on medium as close as I can get it to the desk area so that I can use it as a base file for noise removal programs such as Clarity VX by Waves, AccuSonus's noise removal plugin, and that's version 6, and Audacity's stock noise removal plugin. All right, a little boxy, still not as bad as the Audacity sound was. And you could hear, I could hear anyway, that it left in some of the noise, which might not be a bad thing. Uh, you could hear it throughout in the opening region in here. And that might not be a bad thing because absolute gating, it can be really jarring. Uh, I'll cover that in a future video. So let's see what the Clarity VX plugin by Waves was able to do. Hank here for Free Podcast Tools, and I have a box fan running in the background on medium as close as I can get it to the desk area so that I can use it as a base file for noise removal programs such as Clarity VX by Waves, AccuSonus' noise removal plugin, and that's version 6, and Audacity's stock noise removal plugin. All right, to me, Clarity VX sounds like the best of the three. And this is coming from someone who uses the AccuSonus restoration plugins day to day. I do that when I edit podcasts and edit other people's audio material. However, the Clarity VX sounded really clean. And even though it's taken away more of the noise, I didn't feel like it took away from the vocals. And that's just the default setting on all of these plugins, including the Clarity VX. But I think that sounded really good. More importantly, what do you think? What was the best of the three? Chime in in the comments down below. Coming up very soon, a new to me mic review, a special audio interface that I've been playing around with that you're going to want to check out. And we're going to get some podcasting news out of podcast movement evolutions. Thank you so much.